yes man dingoes welcome back to the blot outdoor show today i'm with these two absolute yes. legends tony and young chris you know what makes sense man dingoes something a little bit different in the blot outdoor show guys we're going to go for a big old hike low force we're going to go up to high force then we're going to make our way over to cow green reservoir and cauldron snout snout to worry about, to worry about yeah. after the hike we're going to then make our way to a bothy yes we've got a bothy boat so we're looking forward to that get the log burner on yes. loads of drinks loads of waskies guitars guitars uh, yes we're going to get some live music off these two absolute the legends log burner and guitars. young chris is going to be the chef for tonight he's going to cook us a nice meal aren't you and i make some chicken gyros oh yes man dingoes it's going to be a fantastic day and night Class. you know what makes sense However, then, let's get going and bring your legends back in a Winnie Mandela. Why is it good looking? Why the water boots? with Tony's for getting his hiking boots the deer <laughs> he's hiking in his trainers so his feet's gonna get soaking wet but it's snout to worry about he can dry them later on in the bothy next to the log burner next to the old log burner you know it makes sense guys so we've already passed low force we passed very low force now and then very low force why well, you're some Ricky Gervais <laughs> And now we're making our way up to high force. Right. Tiny little house up there, like an apple. There's snout around it. Oh no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Sellers, Salas, your scarpers. Oh, well then. So we some mountain there. Why are you some bucky chan? <laughs> So that's high force we've just been looking down onto. We're gonna carry on walking up here, get a bit closer, get an even better view of it. Oh, and after yes. high force, we're off to Cow Green Reservoir can and I, can I just say something to Cauldron there's Snout. snout. There's, there's snout better than a good viewing point. <laughs> Two rights, man, Dingoes. <laughs> Thank you. 
You don't want to fall down there, like. Tell you what, if you did fall down there, the snout stopping you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's getting worse now. Air Mason. Jesus. Got to be careful guys. I'm not trying to get the perfect picture. You fall down there. There'll be snout left of you. Our oh, lads. <laughs> Oh yes. But it's got snout on the other two like. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's snout special compared to high force. You know what I'm talking about, man goes. How are they? Off we pop. Right. To cauldron snout. Yeah, Absolutely fantastic. Enjoying it, young Chris? Loving it. Tony, how's it going, mate? Tell you what it is, it's lovely to be snouting about. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're some Ed Stafford. Ed Stafford and Bear Grills from Wish. Careful, Tony, with them trainers. It's a little bit slippy and bungle. Been a fantastic hike to blow the old cobwebs away. Snout better. <laughs> Snout better, as Tony says. Oh yes. <laughs> Just across there. I think we might have came the wrong way. Got about half an hour left, and then we'll be at Cauldron Snout, and then Cow Green we Reservoir. <laughs> Cow Green Reservoir is just past the old Snout to Rooney. I'll bring you back when we're back on track. Rice. Aye, snow to bother.
Well folks, young Chris's map reading hasn't gone well today. We need to get over there somewhere we think and there's no way to pass. <laughs> we'll find snout later on if we can get over. I mean me and Tony's not gonna fall out with Chris, you know. We're not gonna fall snout with him. We'll have to just see if there's a place we can cross the water further along. Hopefully it narrows. Or you never know, there might be a little bridge. We'll see guys. But I tell you what, it's been class so far. And when we get back to the Bothy, oh, oh yes, it's going to be a great night guys. I'm really looking forward to it. So stay tuned for that. I hope you're enjoying the hike as much as we are. I know Laurie is you tune in for the camping. But don't worry, that's coming soon. You better believe it is. All right, lads. Let's see if we can find a way over and make our way, hopefully, to Cauldron Snout and Cow Green Reservoir. A little break, two pork pies each. I've got some Mr. Kipling's almond slices. Kindly give them to us from my good friend, Mr. Kipling. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Mara. Very kind of you. And it doesn't look like we're going to make it to Cauldron Snout. Oh, you can cross by the rook like. Oh. You, you never know. We'll make it over further down. We've only got two hours of light left. Obviously it's going to be pitch black. And the snout worse than getting caught in the dark with no head torch. <laughs> Can I say snout? And it's at least two hours hike back to the car. I think we've cursed ourselves by seeing snout too many times. We're not going to make it there. It's called called the snout, so which is cursed, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, guys, we're going to get on our merry way. Bring you back in a few seconds. Spray that again. All right, then, folks. According to young Chris's map reading skills, the way to Cauldron Snout is along there where it looks like we could cross the river because it's narrowing. We get our feet wet, but that's snout. That's snout. <laughs> so you'd have to go around there, work your way up to Cauldron Snout, and then Cow Green Reservoir. Reservoir is even further on. We're running out of time. If we do do that, we're going to be making our way back in the pitch black, and we've got to go over these hills. You know, they're not the biggest hills in the world, but the last thing you want is to be crossing over these in the pitch black, getting yourself injured, snapping your ankle. There's no, there's snout worse than that. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> uh, so we're going to just make our way back now. Sometimes you've just got to be sensible. Just make that decision. Hi, and it's nearly beer o'clock. Okay then guys. Get over here first. There you go. Right. I'll bring you back when we're making our way over the top of this hill. Oh you know what I'm talking to snout. Tell us your map reading skills. Are you some Paul Mesner? So that's where we've came from, folks. 
over the top of them hill dingoes all the way down here two bonny lads just walking ahead of this fat lad and that's where we're going that's where we came up in the first place past that mine thing and we went all the way over that way we've came round in a big circle over the hills <laughs> it's worked out spot on the way we've came back in the ideal world if we'd have had one more hour spare we could have taken a little bit more time to cross over the river when it wasn't as wide and make our way to Cauldron Snout but like I said safety first guys it wasn't worth taking a wrist a wrist <laughs> wasn't worth taking a wrist and getting caught out in the dark definitely when we've got loads of bays to drink and we want to get to the buffy okay then my fansexuals I'll bring you back we're making our way back to the car mice Okay guys, the car is in sight. We're now gonna take the 30 minute drive up to the Bothy, which is called Car Shield Camping Barn. I'll bring you back when we get there guys, and we're having a nice little beer. You better believe it. So here we are, Mandingos. We're at the Bothy. Car Shield Camping Barn. That's our room up there. There's another two rooms, one there and one along the end. But them's empty. We've got the place ourselves. You better believe we have. We've been here about an hour. We've just been chilling out. We've had a little fire. Just stand around having a beer. Getting the camera charged up. I'm on there. Arse banditos. Rip off desperados. Talking about arse bandits, these two's on the bud lights. On the walk lights. <laughs> walk lights. Oh yes. Good beer. <laughs> Shit appetizers. Oh my god. And I'm sleeping in the middle of these two of the night. <laughs> sleeping in the middle of two guys who were drinking bud light. It's all good. It's not gonna end well. Oh yes. Got a canny bit Fantastic. Of We've got the log burner. Setting away. Setting away there. For us come back in, in the bothy eye, so we're getting nice and warm. These two's gonna play some live music soon. You know it makes sense guys. This is what it's all about, man dingoes. Right. This is the way. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's right there. Snow better. <laughs> I forgot about that. Snow better and this is what it's all a snout. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we're going to have another couple of beers, get us in the mood, I'll bring you back very soon. Come on. Right. right. Oh yes, man, dingoes. The two bonny lads have just got up into the bothy. I'm going to join them in a minute. I've just hung around to talk to you absolute legends. Yeah. We've just been joined by a lovely guy. He's been standing around the fire with me, young Chris and Tony. He's the guy that runs this place. And we were saying to him, I bet you're busy all the time, are you? Because it's, it's brilliant here. And he says, no, we don't actually get that many bookings. Sometimes we're busy, sometimes we're not. And they could do with a few more bookings. So I said, wait, what I'll do is I'll, I'll give the place a mention. Car, shield, camping barn yeah in Northumberland it's like in the south of Northumberland so I I says I'll I'll give it a good mention I'll show you around when we get in the buffy I'll give you I'll give you a look around the room there's three different rooms but we've been very lucky he's told us that we are the only ones that's here tonight we were thinking or oh, later on there might be more people turn up and if they're in the room next to us you know the two bonny lads 
they want to play some music. So we were thinking, oh, you know, you might get people that want to go to sleep early. But yeah, spot on. We've got the place to ourselves. So like I said, I'll show you around the room when we get up there. Tell you exactly what we think about it. Up there now. Tremendous. And um, I'll leave a link in the description of this video for Carshale Camping Barn. Camping Barn? You don't make sense, man, then goes. Howie. You gotta fuck off looking at my dot marks, you bastard. <laughs> How are them? Let's take a look inside. There's three rooms. I'm not sure what the other two is called. Ours is called the Duck. Duck. Oh! <laughs> and just as I said Duck, <laughs> I banged my head. You couldn't get perfect, more, more perfect down now. Duck, 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 Duck. duck. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. And then I banged my head. Yes, young Chris is just getting there. The fire blazing, fire started, the old yeah. blazing saddles. It's getting there, isn't it? These two mandingos is on the blood shite. <laughs> oh, matron. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having another arse bandito. You better believe it, guys. We've had the music blasting, you know. The party started, mandingos. But when I press record, we've got to turn the music off because the video will get copyrighted. So I, right, we're going to get warmed up. We're going to enjoy a few more beers. Right, oh yes. Sit in front of the fire with the Bud Light boys. The Bud Light boys. <laughs> Bring you back very soon. Oh, oh yes. Right. Ricicles. Oh, that's original bands. Okay, my fan sexuals, time to show you our little setup for tonight. Well, I'll show you mine first. I'm here in the middle, in the middle of two young lads drinking Bud Light. I've got the Burghouse sleeping pad on the bottom. I've got my OEX four season sleeping bag there. I'll be nice and warm tonight. Trickology pillar. Young Chris is over there. He's got his three season sleeping bag. But that'll do, that'll do the job in a bothy, won't it, mate? Fire's blazing. There you go. He's got his OEX sleeping pad there. He's got that foam thing on the bottom. Tony's over there. His guitar's on top of his sleeping quarters. Sleeping bag. He's got a foil mat there. He's, I think he's got an air bed to put up as well. I don't know where it is. So, yes, guys, that's where we'll be sleeping tonight. Three mandingos. Nice and cosy. Right. It's not this quiet when we're not recording, guys. Like I've already said, we've got the music bouncing, having a fantastic time. But when we're recording, we've got to turn the music off because the video will get copyrighted and then there'll be nothing for you legends to watch on YouTube on a Sunday night ski. Exactly. Right, young Chris, he is the chef tonight. Why are you some Jano Di Campo? I'm some Jano Di Campo, alright. Man, like Jano Di. Was it? Jano Di Campo. Jano Di Campo. I nearly mucked it up. Well, I did muck it up. Why are you some Jano Di Campo? Chano, that's the one. How are they? Yeah. What are you cooking tonight, my man friend? Right, we're making uh, chicken gyros tonight. So we've got Greek food? Ah, we're making Greek food tonight. Oh, yeah. So we've got the marinated chicken in there and a Greek yogurt. With some uh, herbs and spices on. We've got some crunchy spring onions, which are soaking wet because they've been in the cooler bag. Some salad tomatoes. We've got some Greek Cypriot cheese, also known as halloumis. Halloumi. We've got Greek wraps. We've got four of them each. A red onion. We've got some duck legs from in the morning. Duck legs. And we've got some sausage jars somewhere, like. 
So we've got a sausage and Dr. Egg Sarney in the Morgan. There you go, guys. We're all set. We're going to have some nice Greek food cooked from Chino di Campo later on. Tony's got the fire blazing saddles. We're going to get the music back on. That means we've got to press stop on the old camaraderie. But when I bring you legends back, these two mandingos, who are part of the band that's called The Shafts, we are going to play some live music. You better believe there are. Right. And you know, it makes absolute total sense. Rice. So we'll go from here and then just have a little bit of uh, a go through. Oh, what's that little solo bit on there as well? Oh, yes, guys, I think it's a snout time. We've got some live music. These two bonny lads are just having a bit of practice. They haven't played for a couple of weeks, so I'll bring you back in a few secondas. You know what I'm talking a snout. Right. You ready there, my
Right. Now I'll tell you what. There was nothing wrong with Your snout. Your hand's not off doing the bar. No, not with the mud. That makes sense, it is. That didn't make sense. You said there's nothing wrong with snout. Nothing wrong with snout. That didn't make sense. All right, folks, I might as well show you some of the facilities in Carshale Camping Barn. I'm busting for a slash Gordon, so let's get through to the toilet area. The old shit house. You better believe it, guys. Oh, you bugger. Trip on the step. There's three rooms here. We've got the biggest room, which is for eight mandingos. There's only three of us, so there's loads of space. Spotty dog. There's a room next to ours, which is for six. And there's a room at the end, which is for like three or four. I'm not too sure. Yes. Our room was 60 pound. The middle size room is 50 pound. And the small room, I think, is 40 pound. Yes. We've got lucky. We've got the whole place to ourselves, So we can have a good laugh, a good drink. Because if there was people next door, we prob not probably, we would definitely keep the noise down. We are actually a good bunch of mandingos. Let's have a look in here then. We've got a sink and all this carry on. A lav, ready for when you wanna slash Gordon. We've got this room here. I'm not quite sure where it is. Oh, we've got a kettle there. We've got some preparation, some preparation. You know what I'm talking about. Mad for it. Yes, yeah, some preparation areas if you want to cook some food and all that carry on. I'm guessing this is the shit house. Oh, you better believe it is. Air matron. The bothy camp and glove of self love. Ah. Oh. Well, that's it, guys. I thought I'd just quickly show you around. So you've seen our room, you've seen these facilities here, which all three rooms get to share. You better believe they do. Let's get back, because it's time for a little chest warmer. Oh yes, ricicles. Come on then, Mandingos. Let's go and have a nice bottle of red wine and a couple of cheeky waskies. Oh, oh, oh yes. Cheese mandingo. Oh, this right, is what geez. it's all a snout. All a snout. <laughs> you better believe it is mandingo. Snout personal. better than this. The snout personal. Snout personal. Snout personal. <laughs> and the snout better than this. Yes. Oh. Yes. We kind of beat it, guys. Three mandingos in a bothy. You got the old log burner on. A few drinks. Waski with you. Come on later on. We've only had a little. We had a little shot out the waski, didn't we? we so did I. It was little, strong and all. We've still know. got the full bottle of drink. Full bottle. Full bottle of drink left. We're having a little bottle of wine. That's each, what it's all a snout. Oh, yes. It's all a snout. This. <laughs> okay, man, I think you. I'll bring you back when we think of something else to talk to us now. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> nice. Getting the food on now, my man friend. Right. Got all the fitters whacking it in foil there. <laughs> what are you gonna say? <laughs> right. Put this on, warm them up a little bit. Got some oil in an old cod liver oil bottle. Spare no expense. The blot outdoor sure. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a little chest warmer. This week's Waski kindly given to us from a legend from Southwick. What are you talking like that for? 
<laughs> Russell Bates. So Russell Bates, thank you very much, my man friend. It is very much appreciated. Rice. Rice. Wask with you. Coming in a few Winnie Mandela's. Aww. What was that? You're normally in charge of the cucumbers. Oh, I can't have a cucumber. He likes a cucumber. It's no wrong with that, Mara. No wrong with that, mate. It's no wrong with that, like. <laughs> Go on. You want to hear that? Oh, yes. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Suit you, sir. Suit you, sir. Suit you. <laughs> duck, 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 <laughs> duck, duck, duck. <laughs> Why are you some Adam in the wild? Chicorny. Oh, oh. That's a big lump of chicken, that like. Chicorny waver. Are you some bonny lads, aren't you? Why are some Gordon Ramsay on the ice there? Big T. Ooh. Well, I am absolutely looking forward to a nice hot Greek meal that young Chris is cooking. The snow better than Greek. a hot meal. The snow better than a hot meal, guys. <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> and you know exactly That's what me. Tony and young Chris Boom, is talking a snout. We're talking a snout. <laughs> Look at that bubbling away. Oh, I'll tell you what. The snout can taste better than this later on. Snout's not going to be better. Spit, spit the plate though. So we can cook the halloumi. Get that back on there. Got this here. All that halloumi. Halloumi, halloumi onions, tomatoes. Look at that. Look at that. Chino de Campo. Chino de Campo. He's funny. If it doesn't fit me with the pan along. Oh, so I read the chicken will just the old pansexual. The old pansexual. Sexual. Oh, yes, man, then goes. The food is ready. Young Chris has cooked up an absolutely beautiful Greek meal yes. for us today, Ski. Are you going to sit down, mate, and get stuck I in? Oh, I am, I. them wraps up for us. Let's you don't want to miss snout. Can I miss snout? He doesn't want to miss snout, a um, lovely male. Snout better. I've got my own plate. Cheers, man, going. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. <laughs> this has been sent to me, kindly, from Craig and Cheryl Jones, who run the, the Brotty Dojo fans group on Facebook. If you haven't joined, guys, and you want to join the community, you know what I'm talking about. Blood of Dojo fans group on Facebook. Thank you so much to Craig and Cheryl. It's very much appreciated. We're an absolutely fantastic group. You better believe you do. Yeah. And now we are going to do some Munch serious Munch and Gladbach. Yes. Munch and Gladbach. Borussia. Munch and Gladbach. Bring it back, guys. And a few tiny little winnets. Winnets. And also, Neil Sadaka's. Neil Sadaka with a winner. Yes! In his mouth. Come on. Who have done that? That is oh, absolutely. That's, that's some Durham. Perfect. The Mondo 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 Well, stuff. I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, look at this, guys. Hot, piping, wraparoonies. Oh, if piping. you can only get that Aye. from a local pizza shop, Aye. and you don't, do you? That's yeah, that's awesome. Do you not get that? That's awesome. Oh, what is this, bro?
What's this sauce? You and Chris? This is just onion. I couldn't get any tzatziki. Tzatziki, is that what's on there? What's on there now? Um, this is just onion, garlic, and chai sauce. That's just onion, onion, garlic, and chai sauce. sauce. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get some veg Get in some there. chicken in. The old chicken. Get some red onion in. in. And some tomatoes. Oh, oh yes. Oh. And spring onions and some cucumber. Can't get enough chicken. Oh, What's like, this, Chris? Do you like the spring onion? That spring, spring onion. Spring onion uh, and, and cucumber. Cucumber. Oh yes, my name oh. was. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Well, you cut your fire, dear. Yeah. <laughs> you got some peri peri hot sauce there as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, a, a bit tommy otter. A bit tommy otter in. Cheese, man. Have mm. a good sauce there. It's hot. Got some peri hot sauce. It's hot. hot. It is hot. Peri hot sauce, like. Here you go. Where's that from? Some the old. Where's that from? The old Nando's. Oh, Ooh, mm. a little bit there in. A bit spicy Nando's sauce. Look at that, man. Looks lovely. Here we go. Boom. Look at that, man. Then goes. Oh, yes. The snout's wrong with us. <laughs> you better believe it, man, Dingoes. Boom, look at that. In scrum. Oh, see what you You know what I'm talking about, snout. Mm. I know what you're talking about. Well. You've talked to snout before. Exactly. That's spicy, that isn't it? Mm. That is spicy sauce, that. Good luck. Mmm. 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 Oh. Go get some lumi in, didn't you? How have you put some lumi in? Mmm. I don't know. Do you know what it is? Young Chris has done an absolutely fantastic job tonight. Mmm. You have, like. Do you reckon? Oh. Thank you very much for that. Good cooking. Maybe some Cypriot. Hats off to Kenko. Hats off well, to Kenko. Hats off to our mate. Hats off to our great mate. By Sometimes Cypriot. I go out in the snout and I'm wondering, <laughs> where can I treat myself to a nice little, little so takeaway? Well, you're wondering what we're going to do with that with snout food. Well, you try the same things all the time, don't you? Mm. It's not wrong with that. There's definitely snow wrong with that. Life without with snow food. <laughs> Some butter. <laughs> no. There's no that in it. <laughs> Alright. Turn, turn it into a food review, isn't it? Cheers to the queers. Applause to the whores. Good luck for a good fuck. Wow. Amazing. Ah. A famous cup dingo man dingo ass. Ah. Oh, straight over there. Look at that. He's some fire starter. Hey, panic. Alright, alright, G calm down. Fell straight up the bloody door. Snout's a bother, man. Snout's a bother, man. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Tell me. There you go. Yeah. Don't worry, you snouted. I'm already snouted. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ready? Oh, oh, oh yes, yes. man, goes. You know what time it is. Wasi time. time. And this is what I've got this week. What's it called? Brook Laddie. The yes. classic Laddie. Even though it's got the sage in the end? Brook Laddie. Not Laddie. The classic Not Laddie. Laddie. This has been kindly bought for us from a legend from Southwick, Russell Bates. Cheers Thank you very much, Bates. my man friend. It is very much, much appreciated. appreciated. Much Cheers, appreciated. Russ. You know what makes sense. We obviously need it because we're. Because oh, it's over. It's over. <laughs> We've had long periods here, guys. We're we having periods. Oh, we well, yeah. haven't been recording or anything. Downloads. We've just been sitting. These two's been playing away on the guitars. We can't record that because we'll get copyrighted, like we already said. We've just been having a fantastic time sitting. 
chill out. Good. Snow you know, snow makes snow. sense. Snow 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 this is what's all a snow. Snow on winter night, like. Get the snow in there. <laughs> snow on. Get the snow in there. What are you getting? Oh. Sorry, guys. Before we go any further, I know you think we're being silly and we're totally messing the snout. You're right, <laughs> we are, but like, that's the bloody dodgy, yeah. wasn't it? Nothing's taken serious. We're just being out in the snout today, enjoying ourselves in the great yeah. outdoors. And the snout run with us. Snout run with us. Snout run with enjoying yourself. Well, you know what I'm talking about. I think it's got a bit of a fucking. Uh, There's nothing to swear. Sorry. Every main time. Oh, sorry. Oh, wait. A bit of a flower before you get it. Let me have a yule sniffer in you guys. It has got a floral thing going on and dingo. Mm. But I'm also getting like a fruity thing going on. Maybe some orange peels in there guys. Orange peels. That's what I'm getting. Mm. Look at people can Google what that says. And it will probably be a completely different thing than us. Sure. But there's no point cheating. You're getting a floral, and I could smell the floral thing you're on about. I. I'm also getting like a, like a, like orange peels smell going on there. The classic laddie. Yeah. Brook laddie. Classic laddie. The classic laddie. Hey oh. dear. So Isla, single malt Scotch whiskey. Oh. Fifty. 50. I was going to see it. Placenta. Oh, we're moving on the taste, like. In the famous word, the cowboy fish. I thought you had a taste. No, I'm going to Time for a taste. Smell Wait, strong. I'll go for a taste. Get yourself there a you go. And that's enough of the sniffing. Let's no, go for the, the taste. Nice. Oh. I think we've got enough taste. Damn. Oh. Hit ya. Oh, oh wow! I tell you chest. what, he's straight in the chest. That'll ding dang do for this man, Dingo. And this is the way, the way of the man, Dingo. Well, you have that for a bit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I will tell you what, it's a good sweet taste when you first sip. If you are looking for a chest warmer, burns. that's a chest warmer. A I did. I got like a big hit, and, just and a strong good. brown sugar. <laughs> Not the old Mick <laughs> Jagger <laughs> brown sugar. <laughs> I've done that just last week. Right, 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 like a like, like a getting, sugary strong, a sugary strong kick. There's some fruity things to it. I said I said oh, orange and smell of dingo, <laughs> but in the taste I'm getting more of a like a red apple, a red berry thing going on. Tony, give it a taste, lad. Take your time. Savor the flavors. Don't yeah. like what I used to say, little Mick. Don't copy what I'm saying. I could have said, little Mick. It tastes like young Chris's underpants. And little Mick would have said, "Much having a little." It little tastes bit. like young Chris's underpants. Do you right. A little sip of room. Have you want the room? Don't mess a snout. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Right. Get a little bit more in there. Oh yes, it's strong. Right. Are you getting any you like? What, I've what, got what? like a, I've got like a fruity apple, red berry type sweet. thing going on. I'm not. But I'm with not. a with an overpowering kick as well. There's like there's a big kick straight away. Burn your lips. Burn your lips. Burn your lips. Like a bit of vapor rubs on your chest. Vapor rubs coming straight from your lips. Yeah. All of the soil. Fix. Bit of all the soil. Oh, so I see. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's strong, isn't it? Are oh, you some paint that came? <laughs> right. Hey, dear. It's I'm ready for bed. Hey, I've had that much food and that much drink. I'm just ready to go to sleep. Fall asleep sitting there. Hit you. Boom ski. Oh, strong life. It's got a strong taste. But all of what's strong. Brook Laddie, the classic Laddie, although it's strong. Brook Laddie. It's Brooke not like Laddie. a. It's not. You know, when you get a cheap one and it's strong. Uh, and you're like, oh my god. Unbearable. Nice. nice. But that's nice though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's quality. You can tell that it's tall quality. 
Oh, it's quality. It's the it's old, the best. strong. <sighs> it's going down smooth. It's strong and smooth. Strong and smooth. Strong and smooth. smooth and strong. Sounds great. I've got like a lovely red berry, red apple, red grape. Oh, it's very nice. Burnt your lips. A little bit cinnamon. Nice, but the, the littlest, tiniest bit of the old Jerry cinnamon mixed in the with the, the fruitiness. And for me, it has like an instant kick. Wow, straight in the back of your throat. Wow. <laughs> it does. Wow. But then it goes down smooth. It's like something I've never... I've had hundreds of waskies, believe us. I've, I've, I must have reviewed over a hundred waskies now. And that's something, I'm, it's not the best thing I've ever had, not but something worst. completely different to what I've ever had. So, yeah, it's been a bit of a, a funny with you. We've struggled. We have. But that's the beauty of it. I've, en I've enjoyed that struggle because I've struggled with it. So I'm going to give that. Mmm. Are you giving it? Brunnock, laddie, the classic laddie. I've got to give it a big fat solid nine out of ten. I can't go less than a nine out of ten. It's quality. I'm still confused by it. I've really enjoyed it. It's the first hit. Maybe I'm a bit confused because I've been drinking a few Bud Lights that these two give us tonight. I can't yeah. quite make in mind up where I want to go with life. You know what I'm talking about, man. Then goes. What's your score? I like it, but I think it's a bit strong. Like, so I'll give it a. Ooh. Wait, it's fifty plus. I know it's nice, but uh, you can't mark it down because of its okay. strength. But no, no, go on. It's your personal. I mean, I like the taste, but it is how strong for me. Like, but I'll give it a seven and a half. Seven and a half. What's your score, man? Dingo. I think it's too strong for me as well. But I can tell how nice it is. Nice. So I'm gonna give it an eight. Solid eight. Eight, seven, half, nine. Nice. So that's average score of 9.3. There you go, guys. That is the end of this week's Waski review. You know what I'm talking about. You know what makes sense. This is serious wild coming. Oh. You better believe it, Snout. Right. Ah. <laughs> oh. What does it mean? Oh, oh, yes, guys. It is 2.30 in Z Morgan. It's time to get some sleep. I'm just nipping around the toilet for a quick slash Gordon. So I might as well take this chance now to see a big fat mega thank you to all you legends who have supported my channel. My little channel, The Blot Outdoor Show. Thank you so much for supporting my channel over the last week. It is very much appreciated, guys. Yes, each and every one is, is a legend. You don't have to do it. Like I always say, just give us a thumbs up. That's good enough for this man, Dingo. Leave a comment. You know, take 30 seconds. Leave a comment. Even if you want to be nasty and you want to give us some shit, I don't mind. I've got thick skin. You better believe I have, guys. Yes. What a fantastic night this has been. Anyway, man, Dingoes, <laughs> thank you so much for supporting the Brother Door Show over this last week of Me Coffee. Here's your names down there. And down there, man, then goes, you better believe I appreciate it, and you know it makes absolute total sense. You better believe it does, man, then goes. Right, I'm gonna get a quick slash of Rooney. There's a snout wrong with that. Let's get down this path here. It is very dark, man, then goes. Oh, oh. Oh, it's open, man, then goes. I thought it was locked. Okay, then. Do you know what it is? I was worrying. I couldn't get in the door, but the snout wrong with that lock. <laughs> right. Good morning, man, then goes. I've literally just walked up there. 9.30. I don't feel too fresh. The snout worse than when you first wake up. Oh, it's horrible. 
and so you know you're going to be rough as a badger arse. <coughs> so, oh, I'm going to get a nice full bottle of water. Amazing. <laughs> 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 Right guys, I'm busting for a slash one. I'm gonna get up and I'll bring you back in a few secondas. Nice. <laughs> yeah, last night was absolutely tremendous. I've got the hangover from hell. My head is banging. But I tell you what, guys, I wouldn't change snout. Because it's memories, isn't it? Having a great time with your mates. It was fantastic yesterday on the hike when I was snouting about with these two legends. And then just last night, we weren't doing much. Just basically just sitting around, hanging a snout, snow. having a good time. Oh, young Chris has got the fire on, which means we're going to get a coffee on right, and a nice fried egg, Sonny. Rough. I was falling asleep through the whiskey review last night on the like this. <laughs> Ridiculous, like, shit. Uh, it's, it's all a snout. <laughs> I've got the worst whiskey hangover in the world. It's, what, it's all a snout, guys. That whiskey's nice, but... You cannot whack it. Oh, strong. Okay, the mandingo goes. fresh. I'll bring you back in a Winnie Mandela. Yeah. Yes. Leaving the place nice and tidy, guys. The Blot Outdoor Show is leaving no rubbish. Lie in a snout. You know it makes sense. Well folks, that's it. That's the end of this week's camping video. It's been absolutely fantastic and I've had a great time. Do you enjoyed it lads? Mint, aye. Oh, good. We did just, just a snow. It's just a st <laughs> Just a stinking whiskey hangover, but that's snow. No. <laughs> no. That lie bed no. To sort myself up. There's snout wrong with a whiskey hangover as long as I've had a good time hanging a snout with these two lads. Snout, aye. You know what I'm talking about, snout. You know what makes sense. Right. Okay then, Mandingos. Remember to join me next week for my next food review Friday. And next Sunday, well, I'll be back out on another epic stealth camp. You know what makes sense, Manding Wars. Right. See right. you later. Oh, God. Oh, amazing. You know, it's my turtle since my very nice.